Today we're going to design an eye-catching postcard in Adobe Illustrator. I'll walk you through setting up your design files, share some pro tips for making your illustrations look bold and eye-catching, while also demonstrating how to use the new generative expand feature to help prep your artwork for print. First, let's set up our design file. A standard postcard size is 4 by 6 inches, so I'll create a new document with those dimensions. For this design, I'm illustrating a lighthouse scene, and I'll start with a solid background color to set the tone. You can use the rectangle tool to quickly build the lighthouse portion, then switch to the free transformation tool to give your rectangle some angles. Next, we'll add some of those environmental elements, like the sun, mountains in the background, and even the beach scene. For those areas, the pencil tool and pen tool are the best tools to use. The key here is to keep your shapes and colors bold and simple. Now let's make sure our postcard is set up for print. One important thing to remember is a print bleed. It's always helpful to add a 0.25 inch bleed around your design to ensure your artwork extends all the way to the edges when printed. Sometimes we forget to add this at the beginning of the project, but here's the fun new feature we can use, Generative Expand. Here's how it works. Select the artwork you want to expand, then click the Generative Expand button in the Properties panel. You can control the direction and scale of the expand by simply adjusting the bounding box that appears. It's perfect for adding additional areas to your artwork instantly, without having to redraw anything. We even have an option for generating only the print bleeds. With the artboard guides visible, simply click the Generate icon that appears in the corner of your artboard guides. For the final touches, let's add a traditional postcard layout to the back of the card. I'll add a small space for the stamp, a few lines for writing, and a small callback to the front design. I think the lighthouse works perfectly for this area. And that's it. In just a few steps, we created a bold, illustrated postcard design and used the Generative Expand feature to help us add a print bleed to the final design. Don't forget to download the Illustrator file, which includes all the assets from today's session. My name's Tyler Payton. Thanks again for tuning into my four-part mini-series with Adobe Live. I hope you learned something new in Adobe Illustrator, and if you have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comment section below, and I'll catch you next time.